Hello everyone, this is Aries Moon Girl and I'm back with another video. Today is going back to the series of three things that I think you can improve as a star sign. Um, three things that I dislike about a certain sign. And today I'm gonna do one of my other favorite signs. <laughs> I'm starting with the ones that I like the most, guys, just so that you know, so you know that I'm not overly critical. And that is Capricorn. Um, for those of you that have been following my uh, videos for a while, you know, I have a special video that is doing very well in terms of people viewing and commenting, and that is the video on why I love Capricorns. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest that you go and have a look because I think I'm capturing there the five most important things that many people don't know. Um, and that's why I get a lot of feedback from you guys that you felt understood and you felt, um, yeah, you felt that someone is getting to your core. And I really, really love this about Capricorns because not many people get Capricorns. I think I get them very well because yeah, I've just been very close to, to a bunch of Capricorns and I, I care about them. <laughs> um, but this time we're gonna do the series of three things that I dislike about Capricorns. And without me talking too much around the bush, let's start with the first thing that I dislike about Capricorns. Good, so the number one thing which I don't particularly like about Capricorns um, or where I find that it makes their life harder is that obsession with status, money, material things. Um, I it's, it's a double-edged sword because I admire Capricorns because they go for the finer things in life. That's, that's what I said in both of my videos until now about Capricorns. And going for the finer things in life is something that's really, um, you know, like you know your worth. Um, the thing with Capricorns is because they are ruled by Saturn and many things come hard to them. So they put a lot of hard work to get certain material things is at points they get discouraged that they haven't achieved all they wanted to achieve and they get a bit obsessed with status with certain things obsessed with with what they should be having you know like in terms of material things where they should be by now what what they should have or what other people's have other people have and they don't have yet so somehow in them there is this inner turmoil and you'll hear Capricorns that are not so well off you'll hear them saying oh people are all just obsessed with money and that's because they are a bit more into that side of things and they don't realize they many times you'll find Capricorns that have disconnected from money altogether because it caused them so much pain but it's not about disconnecting or connecting uh, to an obsession. It's about taking it as one natural thing in life, you know, like not, not putting so much emphasis on it, not putting the obsession of having it, knowing that it will come to you easier than uh, you believe it to be uh, possible. And know that if it doesn't come, it's not a big deal. It will come at some point. So I understand, I understand the need to have the best, I understand the need to represent something in this world, I understand the need to achieve and the need to climb, the need to get something for your work, get something for, you know, like it's a, it's a reward for, for what you put in. But if the reward is delayed at times or, or if you feel there's something unfair, this obsession with it, it's not healthy for you and also it's not healthy for for other people around you either or at some point you know like seeing oh i have this watch or this car or and i i guard it with my life is more important than my family no i'm joking i'm joking capricorns are really good family people but you know like oh, obsession with my car with my don't touch it i put so much money into it um things are things Material positions are material positions. Um, try to take it a bit easier and it will 
yeah, it will fall easier on you. Keep achieving, keep getting great things. Just don't, you know, like, don't obsess over it. Number two. Um, this one is actually the worst for me. And uh, maybe number three will be really controversial, guys. I'm sorry. And it will affect mostly Capricorn men. Um, but it will be controversial. So stick around for that. But number two is what has personally affected me in previous relationships with Capricorns and so because um, I'm Pisces so I'm very empathetic and I feel the vibes of other people so if you're not in a good mood I kind of get really bogged down with you. Capricorns many times even if they don't realize it for themselves can get into this very dark mood this very you know like serious um closed off pressured retracting from the world mood you know like it's not light and cheerful all the time when you live with a capricorn and probably you guys know it i i don't know if many of you will accept this but it's not Life is not every day uh, rainbow and um, the sun in the sky and birds flying around. Sometimes it's really like, oh, this is hard. This is hard. And that's, that's, the, that's the sensation you get sometimes with being around Capricorns when you are really close to them. It's like, oh, this mood is dragging down. This is hard. This is... Life is hard, not, not everything is a piece of cake, so um, I'm just gonna push it down, bottle down my emotions, stuck them there, not share them with the world. But if you're like me and you're a Pisces and you feel it, you're like, oh, I better share it because otherwise it's even pressuring on me, you know, like I cannot, I cannot deal with people not um, holding pain in, it's like, oh, this is still hurting i can feel it or it's still pressing you or it's pressing on all of us so um yeah with capricorns try to be more light-hearted try to share your pain try to open up more um share it let it out and move on like don't hold on to it don't grudge don't bottle it down don't get depressed don't you know, like, don't make it, yeah, don't make it harder than it has to be. I think that's for the first point and for the second point. Don't make it harder than it has to be. I know, guys, you're ruled by Saturn. You go through a lot and you, you actually, you're okay with it because you just grind through it. You keep going. You're like, but for the other, for the faint of heart, for the rest of us that are around you, it might influence us as well um seeing you bottling feelings up so yeah try to try to look on the bright side of life and when you can't try to just open it up let it out and move on and have a better mood better state and just yeah slowly gradually uh cultivate optimism i think that's a thing if you cultivate optimism day by day you just grow it whatever you think of whatever you speak of just grows and becomes more and more um yeah of course not all capricorns if you have a i don't know a leo moon and so you might be more cheerful but even then at times yeah you might slip towards the dark side and bog it down <laughs> um okay so number three i'm sorry guys this is dedicated to the capricorn man i've dated <laughs> I've dated a few Capricorn men, no. Um, there is a thing about Capricorn. I haven't seen it so much with women. I've seen it more with men. With women, I would emphasize even more the thing on the material side. So women don't focus so much on the material side. The guy that doesn't have so much money is still valuable and all of this. But with men, Earth signs are really loyal. 
loyal in the sense that they will never leave you loyal in the sense that they will be by you all throughout and always be there and not. so that's that's a great trait of capricorn women men you know being there but capricorn men have an eye for that's wandering around at times i'm sorry it's it's really controversial i told you that's my own opinion it's my own it's my own video i'm allowed to say this wandering around and you feel that because you are so loyal and stable you're okay to do that because it doesn't count because you're holding down the family so i'm the big chief provider here i'll have a another relationship on the side on here it's not it's not only casual dating with other women so like that's that's i don't know that's maybe sagittarius um it's you know like full grown things on the side and you're like mm, yes loyal yes yes because they still sacrifice everything for you and give you everything and so but it's like oh but loyalty should also mean being loyal you know like not having this wandering attention eye many times i feel that capricorns and especially capricorn man here i feel that they can feel that they can hold it all together i'll manage it i'll manage whatever even to families i'll manage them i'll have all and many times they don't even realize because they love people with all their heart as well so it's like, okay, I love this person, so I will never do anything to hurt her. What doesn't, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. <laughs> Sorry guys, just my experience with Capricorns. Maybe you guys have different experiences. I believe that many times where you get to a power state, you're very powerful, you're invincible, you go through things, you hold them down, you take care of your family, you do everything, you... You feel like, okay, I can handle one more thing. I can add one more thing to the list and no one will get hurt because I'm taking care of everyone. I'm, I'm big daddy here and taking care of, of everyone. So nothing will affect me. But it affects people because emotions are emotions and yeah, you just don't, yeah just don't do that i think many women would be really really happy to be with a capricorn man because they invest so much in you and they they really give you everything but at one point you're hit by a truck and you're like oh my god is this the reality my reality is that the same person because they can hold everything and they can go through so much but this doesn't make it right you shouldn't do that <laughs> okay guys so i still love capricorns i still believe they are amazing human beings that accomplish so much in this world and that can go through so much and that are so you know like a hard shell a hard shell and the soft um a soft inside that's that's capricorns for me and i love that i love the, the softness that's on the inside the emotional side that you get through uh, only when you get to know them so definitely love those sides there are just a few things that make it harder to to live a love uh, live alongside the capricorns at, uh, at times so this is what i wanted to mention Okay, so until next time, I'm Mary Moon Girl. I care about the stars, but most of all, I care about you. And this is why I do those videos. I'll come back um, with more videos from this series, but also with my combination of moon sign and rising. Have a look if you haven't checked it out. Have a look and check it out now. Um, I have a few requests from you guys. So I'll start with those videos and uh, we go as, as you request them. <laughs> Thank you and see you next time.